Hello, and welcome to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. In case you have any questions regarding this program, please write us at info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. Thank you, and enjoy the podcast. Hello, and welcome back to the Stem Cell Healing Institute podcast. We are here once again with Dr. Sarah Fioredo. We are having a very interesting topic today, which is total rejuvenation. And Dr. Sarah, how are you? Very well, Luis. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a special time right now in Guatemala. It's a Holy Week. So it's uh, quite exciting with processions and, uh, um, and the rugs that they make out of vegetation. It's a wonderful time of the year. So we're enjoying that. Oh, yeah, Guatemala has a lot of traditions during Holy Week, and, uh, well, good that you're enjoying your Holy Week. Thank you. Um, doctor, we are having this um, topic, which is total rejuvenation. Um, so this involves uh, many things, I suppose. Uh, I mean, the years go by, and we don't get any younger. <laughs> so <laughs> what would that yeah. involve? That's right. So total body rejuvenation is a very popular stem cell treatment of ours, um, which we do, and it addresses many of our um, issues that we encounter as we uh, as we age. So it's it's like anti anti aging from the inside out at the molecular level. So it can it addresses inflammation in the body. It uh, addresses hormonal changes as we age. Uh, it addresses um, specific things like dry eyes, declining declining vision, um, as well as graying hair, uh, weight gain, uh, declining cog- cognitive function, focus, memory. Um, it's a very, very comprehensive and complete treatment. Uh, the total body rejuvenation. So, and it's very, very popular. Is this um, stem cells apply when you said from inside out? Is uh, are these stem stem cells applied um, by IB, or do you um, have a treatment like um, I'm gonna say it, but uh, you let me know if it, if it's like that or not? Are we applying stem cells locally, like if? there was botox being applied something like that very very good question louise it depends on what the patient requires okay so absolutely we will do intravenous um, stem cell deployment which is so it's iv along with uh, a, a component a natural component that helps the stem cells enter the blood-brain barrier and get into the brain so that we can address cognitive uh, cognitive function, focus, memory, things like that. And it goes, and the stem cells go everywhere the blood flows. So yes, so from the inside out, so I mean, yes, with uh, IV as well as locally, again, depending on what the patient desires and requires. So um, if we find that the patient is really declining in their joints or even in their skin, uh, with sca- sagging skin, uh, wrinkles, that type of thing, we would do local injections in those areas. Absolutely. So this uh, will involve something like um, the eyes declining with age, um, and I suppose uh, hormonal changes as well? Yes, yes. What the stem cells do when they're applied IV is, again, as I mentioned, they go everywhere that the skin, uh, that the blood flows so it addresses thyroid issues. It, it can address um, the gonadotropin hormones, which are the, the sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, um, all of those, as well as um, uh, cortisol and other hormones that are declining that we, where we see adrenal fatigue. And, um, and those types of conditions. So it's a very, very complete sort of comprehensive approach. And of course, you know, we don't want to uh, neglect certain key supplements and, uh, and lifestyle changes, perhaps even hormonal balancing. 
uh, which, uh, which we will address if we find that the patient requires it. So we do a screening process with certain key blood tests and, uh, and so on in order to really address uh, the issues that the patient is having in order to not leave any stones unturned. So if there are major hormonal issues or any other declining aspects of their health, we will address that along with the stem cells. And the, and the stem cells themselves will address that also. Uh, but the process of uh, the treatment involves more than just applying the stem cells. Is that correct, Doctor? That's, that's right. That's right. So we will do a total detox, and this is always involved. Uh, this is always included in the stem cell treatment. We will do a t total detox program, which is uh, an IV, uh, intravenous nutritional IV as well as uh, suppositories, natural suppositories that work with the IV in order to detox the, the liver <clears throat> and the whole body and prepare it for the stem cell treatment, um, as, as well as B, uh, B vitamin shots. And then we also uh, combine that with oxygen therapy, which again is a, a, is a total, uh, it's a rejuvenation of the body and the stem cells to uh, keep the stem cells working, prepare the body again, as well as um, uh, growth hormone therapy. So in many cases, we will also uh, adjunct the, the treatment with the growth hormone therapy and other hormones as we see uh, fit for that patient, as well as a stem cell enhancement formula that involves um, certain key minerals and herb uh, herbal combinations to uh, again, prepare. This is all pre-treatment and post-treatment. So it uh, prepares the body to receive the stem cells as well as uh, uh, post-treatment in order to keep the body uh, regenerating the stem cells and the stem cells working hard uh, for, for a long time. So, Doctor, will this uh, total rejuvenation, um, the this, this stem cell treatment will be the same treatment that we use for hair loss? Yes. So total body. So that's it. Yes, absolutely. So we would apply the stem cells IV and also locally for uh, for hair loss. So right into the scalp in order to uh, uh, help with um, hair growth. Absolutely. Um, new hair follicles in order to uh, create new hair. And um, so that would be part of the treatment as well. If that is something that the patient comes to to us for. And, um, and we see other um, effects also. Some of them I already mentioned, decreasing inflammation in the body, um, adjuncting hormonal changes as we age. Uh, we can literally reverse graying hair, uh, help grow new hair, uh, as well as libido and other lifestyle changes, more energy, strength, uh, more muscle uh, and, and uh, less fat. Um, throughout the body, so body composition changes, um, and uh, and again, re uh, sort of uh, revitalizing the eyes and the skin, and uh, many changes, many positive changes that we see with uh, with the stem cells. So this is like a total overhauling for the body. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And uh, I mean, we've had eighty year olds come for this treatment, and uh, and literally they they're they have a different lifestyle after, and uh, and we have uh, we have a lot of testimonies that we are happy to provide um, in this regard, and we're we're happy to present uh, patients that have had very positive changes, and that uh, where they can easily say that their quality of life has been improved, and so that is we're, awesome. Uh, we're um, so, doctor. With this treatment, uh, how long does it last, this specific treatment, the total body rejuvenation? Oh, like in terms of how long they would need to be in Guatemala? Uh, yeah, for, yeah. Uh, does it have, uh, uh, can you do it in one visit or does it require any more um, following oh. visits? Yes. You know what? We Any treatment that we do, our goal is to um, really have a great effect with just one treatment. We don't want to have you come back for another treatment. However, with some disease conditions and some, uh, you know, some conditions that are very 
um, severe, we, they, a patient may require more than one treatment. But in this case, one treatment is usually enough. And um, a patient would come for, for seven to 10 days. Uh, we start some of the pre-treatment protocol before they come. So key supplements, key dietary changes, um, things like that, increasing antioxidants and, uh, and omega-3s and and, uh, and certain key changes like that. And once the patient gets here, we start with the pre-treatment protocol with the, uh, with the total detox program and, and oxygen therapy, as well as uh, uh, the hormones, if, we, if it is suitable, as well as the stem cell enhancement formula. And then some of that continues post-treatment, and then we send patients home with that also. And, uh, and if they can, they continue with oxygen therapy at home. And it's usually exercise with oxygen therapy. And, uh, and so the whole treatment lasts for about three months, pre- and post-treatment. But the patient is only required to be in Guatemala for seven to ten days. And during the visit, we can provide um, Airbnb accommodations? That, that's right. So Airbnb-type uh, accommodations, which is included in... Uh, in with the treatment, and um, so we include accommodations as well as a, a chauffeur to take patients to and from airports, as well as um, uh, any appointments that they need to make, um, and that is all included in the in the treatment package. And also, if you are interested in doing some uh, traveling around within Guatemala, we can arrange with the uh, local tour operators um, trips um, around the city, or you can go visit the Mayan ruins and also Antigua and many beautiful places that Guatemala can offer as um, a nice. touristic destination. That's right. You know, um, the, the treatment itself is so non-invasive that we literally have patients the next day after stem cell deployment uh, going and visiting Antigua, which is a UNESCO World Heritage uh, destination, wow. mm -hmm. <laughs> a UNESCO World Heritage destination, as well as Louise, as Louise mentioned, the, the Mayan ruins, Tikal, Mirador, uh, the volcanoes, the, the amazing active uh, yet safe volcanoes and coffee farms and there is just so much to see and do in Guatemala. Okay, so we are here to give you your stem cell treatment and you can enjoy the country. Uh, doctor, is there anything else you would like to add to this podcast? Uh, no, I think we've covered a lot of ground, Louise. I think just uh, contact information. We can be contacted at info at stemcellhealinginstitute.com. We can also be reached on Facebook and Instagram. Please visit us and uh, and give us a thumbs up. We have our podcasts that are um, published on Anchor as well as Spotify. And YouTube and, and a video and format. YouTube, <laughs> that's right. And YouTube as well as uh, we have a WhatsApp uh, contact where you can reach us at plus 502-4220. 7297 that's plus 5024220 we also have a us number 209690783620969078362 209 did i miss anything louise oh uh, yeah if you want to know more about the treatments you can find more information at our website which is uh, www.stemcellhealinginstitute.com that's right. Or stemxcure.com. Exactly. Which is sometimes it's shorter to write. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much, Louise. Thank you for having me on this holiday of, of Good Friday. I want to wish you a happy Easter. And um, Same and to will... you. And enjoy Antigua, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to our listeners also. Okay. You have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.